There are four types of plants. Non-vascular plants, seedless vascular plants, seed vascular, but in the seed vascular plant category, there are two different branches, angiosperm and gymnosperm. Non-vascular plants don't have any vascular tissue. They have male reproductive organs, which is the antheridia, female reproductive organs called archegonia, and no organ systems. Seedless vascular plants contain vascular tissue. They have the same reproductive organs, and they have organ systems, which are the shoot system and root system. The shoot system has stems attached to leaf-like structures, and the root system is the root configuration. For seed vascular plants, angiosperm. They have dermal tissue, vascular tissue, and ground tissue. They have roots, stems, and leaves, and their systems are flowers and shoots. Seed vascular gymnosperm. They have nutritive tissue. They, their organ is a strobilus, and they don't have any organ systems. Homeostasis and metabolism. Iron homeostasis is an important topic in plants, mineral, and nutrition. Plants need to regulate water loss and carbon dioxide intake for photosynthesis and other like activities. When plants don't keep enough water in their cells, they will take stomate, an, an, a microscopic hole in a plant leaf which allows gases to enter and leave and water vapor to leave as well. Stomata is the plural of stomate. Guard cells open and close the stomach the stomach. Ability of the guard cell to close during periods of limited water availability for the plant allows the plant to maintain water homeostasis. Metabolism revolves around photosynthesis and respiration. For photosynthesis, energy is stored with sugar molecules, water and carbon dioxide used, weight increased, light is required, happens with thin chlorophyll, oxygen is produced in green organisms, ATP is produced with light energy. Respiration. Energy is released from sugar molecules. Water and carbon dioxide are released. Weight is decreased. This process can occur in darkness or light. This process happens with all living cells. This process uses oxygen. Energy is re retained. ATP is produced when released. The three major plant functions that are the basics for plant growth and development are photosynthesis, respiration, and transpiration. Photosynthesis is a process in which plants take energy from sunlight, CO2, and water from the soil to make food. Uh -huh. Photosynthesis literally means to put together with light. That's right. Respiration is the chemical process by which sugars and starches produced by photosynthesis are converted to energy. Swag money. It is similar to burning of wood in the, in, or coal to produce heat or energy. Transpiration is a process by which plants lose water. Transpiration is necessary for mineral transport from the soil to the plant for cooling, moving sugars, and maintenance of turgor pressure. Chantry, shut up. I'm trying to record Chantry. You need to shut up. 
It's like it's a little bit more of a weird thing. You have to think about it? It's like Genius, Brian. Or TJ. Or watch the movie. You guys are TJ. No, I'm not like an anime junkie. I watch a few and I don't get the movies, but. Probably the means of reproduction. My sister was one of those. All she wanted was to be a. Stop it!